I first met the Brazilian Fathers when I came to the University of St. Michael's College in 1989 to pursue an MA in theology. I took the Doctrinal Foundations for the Ethical Thought of St. Thomas Aquinas. The course was taught by a wonderful teacher, who was also my thesis director, Father Jack Gallagher. My classmates, Anthony, Joe, Mario, and Jeff, were remarkably gifted students. It turned out they were a class of Brazilian seminarians, and I was the only lay student. They were eventually ordained as Fathers Giampetro, Pilsner, D'Souza, and Thompson. Father, later Bishop Ronald Fabro, was another one of my gifted teachers and able thesis advisors. He and Father Gallagher kept in touch during my year in Teachers College and encouraged me to submit a resume to the Brazilian School at Bathurst and St. Clair, St. Michael's College School. Father Dennis Foy hired me in June of 1993, and I've been at St. Michael's ever since. Long before David met the Brazilian Fathers, I had met them at the University of Western Ontario and was blessed to work with Father Hugh Foley and Father Mark Gazen. While pursuing graduate studies at the University of Toronto, I lived as a student campus minister at the Newman Centre, working with Father Thomas Rizika and meeting other amazing Brazilians, such as Father Kevin Story and Father Daniel Chui. I also started dating a young teacher at St. Michael's. We were engaged in the school chapel and later married by Father Moen. All four of our children were baptized by Brazilians in the St. Michael's College School Chapel. I have taught with many wonderful Brazilians over the years. Father Lehman, Father Fulton, Father Redican, Father Reddy, Father Thompson, Father May, and Father Leung. They taught me that we educate each student in our care in goodness, discipline, and knowledge, so they may discern and live out their God-given vocations. As a husband, father, teacher, department head, guidance counselor, and in my roles in student services and admissions, I've been guided by the wisdom, fidelity, and care of my Brazilian mentors. As a mother, wife, and teacher, the Brazilian fathers have played a central role in who I am today a woman whose life is rooted in the Catholic faith. As a family, we visited Henry Carr Farm many times, where we enjoyed Father Moen's fantastic cooking and visits with Father Brian Higgins and others. We fondly recall Father Zinger's gentle and kind manner, the twinkle in his eyes, and his genuine interest in knowing how each of us were doing. Brazilian education and ministry has been the foundation for our married life, our family life, and our teaching vocations. The great and enduring gift of the Brazilian fathers in our lives is that in their priestly ministry, they've been our companions walking with us on our life journey. We give thanks for the way God has blessed our family through the ministry of the Brazilian fathers. Un saludo muy especial para todos los padres basilianos en el mundo entero. Mi nombre es Alejandra María Londoño, vivo acá en el barrio Olaya Herrera y pertenezco a la parroquia San Basilio. Conozco a los padres basilianos desde el año 2002, cuando estaban en el barrio Blanquizal. Desde allí he podido constatar la experiencia maravillosa de ellos, de cómo traen a Jesús a cada una de nuestras vidas, a través del amor misericordioso que nos muestran con San Basilio, de cómo San Basilio a través de sus enseñanzas nos puede dar a nosotros a conocer que desde lo poco que nosotros tenemos podemos darle a los demás. Muchas veces nosotros guardamos tantas cosas en nuestras casas que le están haciendo falta a otros. Esto es una gran experiencia que los basilianos nos han enseñado, enseñarnos que Jesús está siempre presente en cada una de nuestras vidas a través de la oración, a través de la escucha de la palabra, a través de la vivencia de la Eucaristía. Para San Basilio era demasiado importante la Santísima Trinidad. Y la Santísima Trinidad aquí es fuente de vida para cada uno de nosotros y se hace presente en cada uno de los proyectos que los basilianos tienen acá. Acá podemos ver una verdadera basileada, proyectos que ayudan a que conozcamos a Jesús y a que ese conocer de Jesús se haga realidad 
a, a través del de conocimiento, a través de esa experiencia que hace que las personas puedan salir adelante y a pesar de las dificultades que se viven acá en nuestros barrios, podamos siempre tener la certeza de que Jesús está con nosotros. Por eso hoy doy muchas gracias a todos los basilianos por la presencia que tienen acá en nuestra comunidad, por todos los proyectos que tienen y por cada día ser mejores, por hacer de nuestra comunidad un lugar mejor y un lugar donde se puede vivir el reino de Dios. Hi, we're David and Maureen Holt, and we're members of the St. Anne's Parish in Houston, Texas. When our daughter Alice graduates from St. Anne's Middle School in two years, our extended family for several generations will have had over 200 years of Brazilian education. It's been a great blessing to our family. It's been a great blessing to our community. Hired by Father Patrick Braden, I have lived with the Brazilians for more than 50 years. Well, my thanks to Brazilian fathers for over 50 years of hospitality and friendship. You have opened your hearts and your home to me. I have always been happy here. And blessed to have known the Brazilians for over 40 years. Gifted with their charisms as an active Christ the King St. Cateri parishioner and nine-year employee, it is because of these charisms that I am a Brazilian lay associate, and more importantly, why I love God and my Catholic faith. We acknowledge Jesus Christ as truly divine who became human. You Basilians are very human and truly reveal the divine because you do not merely teach goodness, discipline, and knowledge, but you live it. My personal faith journey follows the presence of you in my life, starting back to Father Tom Mayu. A surprise home visit to welcome my husband and I to the neighborhood was the hospitality that made us feel important to our parish family. Father Don McCarthy offered the first Bible study I attended and continuously, to this day, participate in one. Priceless knowledge. This self-proclaimed simple parish priest, Father Bob Hale, introduced me to a new equation in my life, clergy equals friend. If it could be a priest, then certainly Christ could and would be my friend too. Working alongside friends, Fathers Norm Tank, Morgan Rice, Paul English, and the beloved Joe Travado was pure gift. Upon opening that rectory office door, I could feel the spirit. Every day flowed goodness and discipline in endless compassion, humility, self-sacrifice, faith, acceptance and generosity to all, and a joy that radiated love for vocation and creator. Well done, good and faithful servants. Happy blessed 200th anniversary. Giving thanks, we remember, we celebrate, and because of you, we believe. We're here to congratulate the Brazilians on their 200th anniversary. God bless. Dios los bendiga y mil felicitaciones. We congratulate the entire Brazilian community on the occasion of your bicentennial anniversary and pray that God continue to bless and guide you as you serve Christ by serving the people of God. God bless and thank you.